Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another pick a card reading. In this pick a card reading, we're going to be figuring out when is love coming? But before we go ahead and hop right in, welcome to my channel. My name is Jess and I am offering $10 readings at the moment. All that info you can find down below, like how to order one with me and just showing you guys how I do my personal readings. But let's go ahead and hop right in. I have prepared four groups for you guys, starting with pile one, two, three, and four. And let's get started on pile one. Hey group one, welcome to your readings. So let's go ahead and see when will you find love? So we have the Wheel of Fortune as well as Rooms of Misery. Okay, so what I'm getting right now, Group 1, I feel like you guys are in the process of actually meeting this person, okay? We'll find out later too if this is going to be long term or something short, but I do see that you guys are making changes in your life right now, or this is the advice for you to make some changes right i know we all need to learn lessons and we all need to drop behavior patterns and such but the wheel of fortune does signify luck being on your side okay so this is number 10 so you may meet them in 10 months 10 weeks 10 days what have you here or this is how long the relationship will last um the wheel of fortune is also ruled by sagittarius so it may be with a sagittarius here so I do see love being on your side and this may be someone as well who may be in the spotlight or you just get lucky in regards to um, you meeting up with this person. But I do see there are cycles that need to be closed out. Maybe you need to leave behind a relationship or a situationship that is not working at the moment here, okay? And we have wombs of misery. So even if you guys are in stuck in a situation or you're dealing with nobody i do see that there are some doubts here so try um law of attraction try meditation i know it's easier said than done but wombs of misery just talks about you know feeling stuck feeling like you know we're waiting forever and nothing's coming by so try not to get into this energy field okay because what we what we what we're energy we're in we manifest right so let's go ahead and pick some more cards okay let's see what wants to come out for you guys i hope you're doing okay during this quarantine so we have door to personal healing and happiness so yes a lot of happiness needs to come through and a lot of um this healing needs to come from you it's not going to come from another person yes they might bring you this satisfaction you know in the beginning of a relationship or just thinking you know if i have this person they'll completely complete me no and i'm pretty sure you know this already too but i do see healing needs to go on i do see that you need a vibration of positivity and happiness and just knowing that they're coming um to happen for you here so we can get in that vibration right this is card 34 which comes down to a seven so i do see you group one meeting someone lucky okay you're gonna be lucky when you meet this person i'm not sure if they're gonna be in the spotlight or they're just gonna help you grow and manifest okay or you guys do something together that's going to bring a lot of abundance and happiness here some of you guys need to get out of marriages is what I'm seeing here with contract in the reverse. Okay, let's see what else wants to come out for you, group one. So we have time to go in the reverse. Yeah, there's. I feel like you guys are stuck in a situation whether you're still with this person or you guys are still, you know, by law married to them or you're stuck in a situationship or even something that was just long ago overdue with, I'm seeing you guys need to heal more before this person comes into your life. And you're probably thinking like, I'm doing all that I can. They're coming, group one, okay? It's just saying there needs to be more healing on your part and more action on your part as well, okay? Let's see what wants to come out. 
So we have the Eight of Pentacles in the reverse here. So I'm seeing here in regards to the Eight of Pentacles in the reverse that some of you guys need to stop trying so hard, okay? So maybe you're like on dating websites, maybe you're trying to just control situations so much to go in your way. With the wheel here, this is all on divine timing, okay? So I'm also seeing maturing need to come through um, and leveling up as well. Some of you guys may need to take better care of your health is what I'm getting here with the Eight of Pentacles. He's working really hard. He's not even wearing the same shoes. His hair is all scraggly. Now, I'm not saying you're like this, but just to present yourself in a nicer way or just more internally again with healing or you know taking better care of your body and such okay. so let's see what else wants to come out and i'm not condoning you know you need to work out and things like that but i am seeing that you guys are trying really hard or the eight of pentacles can reverse that not enough work is coming from your side okay so maybe you guys do need to hop onto um dating websites or go out with friends meet new people what have you here okay we have the ace of pentacles and with the ace of pentacles i do want to say here that make sure you are coming off stable make sure you are not you know coming off like you know let's do a one night stand and then hoping things will turn into something solid so <laughs> you guys get what i'm saying and we have the page of cups in the reverse so what was i saying about maturing there needs to be maturity coming through from your side um and mingling is fun but not being too um sexual is what i want to say okay group one so that is all i have for you guys thank you so much for watching and we're gonna move on to group two now. Okay, hello group two, welcome to your reading. Now let's go ahead and see when is love coming for you. So we have the nine of swords as well as force of delusion, okay. So group two, what I'm getting here in regards to when is love going to find you, I do see that you guys are so stuck in a mindset now I'm not judging you but there's a lot of worry a lot of fear and a lot of doubts in regards to meeting the one or why do I keep attracting these same people into my lives here okay so I do see that there is going to need effort on your part to change things up about you now I'm gonna be telling every group this I know there's you know behavior patterns and ways of doing that we need to change not only for love but just in regards to life but the knight of swords talks about fears it talks about laziness okay and i've been here before too okay but with forests of delusion this talks about coming out of illusions okay some of you guys need to you know just as little as making the effort to get to know people okay so hop on dating websites and if you guys are then it's like there needs to be some changes on your end in regards to how you think about love okay and i do see that you guys are probably going to come close to changing the way you see love as well okay so the nine of swords this may be an aquarius libra gemini you meet or you are one um you you may meet them in nine months nine weeks nine days what have you or this is how long the relationship will last some of you guys don't see this person coming as well some of you guys are just kind of like in your heads like what is going on in my love life but i do see someone who is approaching you guys okay we have unfinished symphony in the reverse. I'm also getting here that you guys do have options, but they may not be options that you want, or you're just not really seeing um, them for who they are, okay? So we have a number nine and a number 10. So there's endings coming in here, whether this is, you know, the end of you being single 
or just the end of how you are perceiving love at this time, okay? We have financial constraints, so some of you guys need more self-worth. A lot of you guys need more self-love, okay? What are you watching on TV? What are you watching on YouTube? Is it feeding from you or is it giving you more anxiety and stress, okay? Some of you guys need to read like um, spiritual podcasts, self-help podcasts, um, you know, things like that. So what I'm seeing is more self-love from you guys, okay? So that's what I'm getting, and for a lot of you, your money situation needs to um, get a lot better as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and pull another card for you guys. We have the King of Swords in the reverse, so yeah, there is an air sign here, an air sign male, or you be maybe a air sign male, but he's showing up in the reverse here so how are you being truthful with yourself okay are you going after people who are already taken and then whining about it or you know are you looking in the right places you know do you want someone who is all this but you're still you know in this area is what i'm getting here and i struggle with this too you know but it's all a process we're all working on this right so no judgment if so let's pull a couple more cards for you guys. We have judgment. So judgment is all about stepping into your power group too, okay? As well as the seven of swords. So what was I saying? Are you being truthful with yourself? The seven of swords is all about lies. It's all about deceit, you know, going behind people's backs, trickery. So how are you tricking yourself? How are you um, displaying yourself as well? Are you presenting yourself in, you know, a one night stand type of way? Or are you presenting yourself as someone who is genuine? Again, I do see that there may be a Sagittarius or somebody coming back from the past, or you may be going back to the past. But overall, what I'm getting from judgment is, um, you know, you need to step into your power in regards to um, switch up your love life and how you view it. So, group two, that is all I'm getting for you. Thank you so much for watching, and we're going to move on to group three. Okay, hello, group three. Welcome to your reading. So, let's see when you will find love. So, we have the ten of wands, as well as encouragement. So what I'm getting here, um, for those of you that are in a connection, I'm seeing that you guys are being encouraged to still push through, okay? Maybe you guys still have um, difficulties in the relationship, but I'm seeing not to end it, okay? I'm just seeing to find some kind of conclusion for you guys to um, work together, okay? But for a lot of you, you guys just need to take your losses and go, okay? And there's a lot of encouragement. You are being encouraged to do so. I'm saying you guys need to close out cycles. With the Ten of Wands, you may meet a fire sign, a Sag, Aries, Leo, in um, 10 months, 10 weeks, 10 days, or this is how long the relationship is going to be, okay? But you guys are encouraged to keep going, even if you're doing all the work. The Ten of Wands talks about you know, caring a lot, doing a lot of work, which I see you guys are doing. You guys are encouraged with encouragement to keep striving, keep going, they're coming, okay? This is a number 10, so you guys are at the end of something here, and I do see um, love coming in for you guys. Let's see what else wants to come out for you, group three. So we have financial constraints. So some of you guys are having doubts about yourself. Some of you guys are not feeling super confident in the love department. So I do see a lot of self-work and self-love coming from you. Maybe this is more outer appearance and not really inner work that needs to be healing. And now I know I've seen like just really toxic 
you know, people just be in relationships and you're just like, how the hell are, are they in one? And I can't even find one. I'm seeing here that it's coming, like I said, um, group three. And for some of you, your money situation needs to get a lot better as well. But in regards to accepting yourself and not needing someone else to do that for you is definitely what's going to help in the process to make things not so hard on yourself, okay? So let's pull another card. We have to the sea. So this is such a good card to get, group three. I really like it because you, it's coming, okay, with to the sea. I do see that you guys, like I said, are ending something. I don't know if this was another relationship or it's just all the work you've been putting in. You guys are being now directed to better times and to your next relationship here. To the Sea talks about being in flow. So I'm seeing be patient, go with the flow, divine timing here, and spirit is guiding you to this person, okay? So we have the Ace of Cups, so yes, I do see a love offer coming in, maybe from a water sign, a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, but again, the Ace of Cups to me is self-love. So I'm seeing that need to happen, a, or a more deepening of that, like I was saying, a more, you know, positive affirmation and such. Let's pull a couple more cards for you guys, group three. We have this sun. So I'm seeing here that you may have a child with this person, but the sun card talks about being in an energy that's lighthearted, being in an energy that's welcoming, that's fun, that's friendly, okay? So make sure you are not being too closed off here. I'm seeing that to radiate a nice, friendly vibe, okay? And make sure you're not coming off, make sure you're coming off genuine as well, okay? when you meet this person, but the sun card is so positive. And maybe with the Leo. And we have the nine of swords in the reverse. So this is confirmation again to chill because it's coming. I'm seeing you guys um, finally get out of your heads, coming into a more lighthearted energy with the sun, or this is the advice here, okay? But it is coming very soon with 10 of wands to the ace of cups. So very soon guys so group three that is all i have for you guys thank you so much for watching and we're gonna move on to group four okay hello group four we finally made it so let's go ahead and see when is love coming for you so we have the queen of cups as well as rare souls so with this group four i'm already seeing that you guys could have options but i feel like you guys need a connection that just sits and feels right to you okay i feel like you guys are wanting a deep soul connection maybe a twin flame maybe a soulmate i'm seeing this person come in okay and i'm seeing that you guys are doing the work as well with the queen of cups i want to say be patient rare souls here is all about reaching spiritual perfection okay it doesn't have to be spiritual as well but just putting actions behind your words i'm seeing you guys are really doing the work keep it up beautiful love it but i am seeing a cancer pisces scorpio female come to you or a male okay but like i said a lot of you guys have options and you know maybe they're just not the one but like i said it's like you guys it needs to feel right within you okay or this is the advice to choose wisely with your partners you know don't ignore the red flags um, go with your intuition and your gut feeling here and with the queen of cups i do feel like you guys are being led to this person by your intuition or if you guys believe in um source and all of that they are guiding you okay but i feel like they're making you do the inner work first okay so let's go ahead and pull another card for you guys. Please excuse the hair. I, Jesus. 
so we have unfinished symphony in the reverse so some of you guys have been waiting for a very long time it feels like right or what i'm getting here too is that a lot of you guys need to let go of a connection whether you're still in it or you're still grieving from it okay is what i'm We have door to romance so i'm seeing romance come your way okay group four um so this is number six so you guys may meet this person in um 10 or six months weeks days okay or this is how long the relationship is going to last for you guys but this is a very positive card this talks about love coming in but mainly this talks about romance so even if I feel like you some of you guys are dating and I'm seeing you guys get much closer to someone that just feels and sits right to you and this is the sign to open up your heart to them here or allow yourself to um, receive love okay some of you guys are reaching for the perfect partner and such um, maybe because you guys are doing a lot of the inner work as well so you know so you guys are going to receive love, but I want to say keep an open mind as well, okay? Because there are there is somebody or people around you who are great potential for you, okay, group four. So we have the Queen of Cups in the reverse. So wow, we have two Queen of Cups. So what I'm getting here is you guys need to stop dwelling on the past or stop dwelling that, you know, love is never going to come or what's happening or why do I keep on attracting the same people? I want to say love is coming and to just hang on there and to keep on doing the work, but most importantly, be open to receiving, okay? So we have the world card in the reverse, so... A lot of you guys need to end relationships or you know like I was saying in the beginning a lot of you guys do have options or somebody there and to not completely close out that cycle with them but to give them a chance and justice so some of you guys when you meet this person they are going you are going to marry them okay there's gonna be some type of commitment and I feel like this is going to be a long commitment here this may be with a libra or a taurus but i'm getting strong libra um some of you guys may need to um get your life in order but i feel like you guys are already doing that i feel like you guys already have stuff in order here but some of you guys may need to get out of marriages whether you're still with them or you know by legal by law you're still married okay so I do see a whole new cycle in regards to your love coming through here, okay? Which is beautiful. This is great. So, group four, that is all I have for you here. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next pick a card. Bye.